In this video of World Box, I've made this weird looking funky map. <laughs> we're gonna be putting all the four species in the, all the corners, and we're just gonna see who's the last one remaining. So I'm gonna go ahead and put humans in the top left, elves in the top right, dwarves in the bottom right, and orcs in the bottom left. And then what I'm gonna do right off the bat is I'm gonna take some mountains and then just block them off, keep them inside their little square. And this will serve a purpose. And for that purpose, I'm going to need settings, go up to the burger, hit the debug menu, and turn on sonic speed. Now I'm just gonna unpause, and then we're gonna wait about 300 years, if not longer, so then their cultures are developed and they're ready for war. Should be more entertaining at least. So, um, how did that happen exactly? The dwarves already died. How? I'm on sonic speed. Um, <laughs> what? That makes no sense at all, dude. I guess put down some new dwarves. Let me turn on fast spawn. Come on, dwarves. Like, what the balls, dude? Their culture's gonna be way behind, but that's their own fault. Oh, and it's almost year 700. So, might as well start it. Let's do it. So, I'm gonna turn off Sonic Speed, and I'm gonna get rid of all the borders. Alright, there we go. They're all free. Click play. And here we go. Let's watch the war commence. So, now that the war's starting, let's go ahead and look around. Humans actually are kind of small. I don't know. At least they don't seem big. I guess they have a ton of population. These, they all kind of look small. Not gonna lie. Uh, they're all getting up new cities. The orcs are expanding quickly. Alright, two cities. Dwarves are already getting up one. It looks like... The dwarves are getting lucky where they can just reclaim their old buildings. Oh, most of them are gonna starve to death though, because I spawned in more than the city can handle. Elves are expanding, as well as humans. Humans are the only ones that are going for the middle square. I know the squares aren't completely even. I don't know if there's a way that I would get them even. <laughs> so, I just kind of didn't. The elves are at war with the dwarves. Oh my glove, dude. What do you mean? Why? Bro. The poor dwarves, man. They're getting slapped around. Well, first of all, they died mysteriously. And second of all, the elves are just bullies. Here comes all of the dwarves trying to help, dude. No, rip. At least they had a ton of people. <laughs> They'll do a little bit more damage to the elves than the elves would hope, I'm sure. But the dwarves have no culture at all, dude. This is their culture. They have nothing. They don't even have weapon production yet. As the elves have what? Almost a full-fledged freaking everything. They got weapons, they got shields, they're geared. They got bows, dude, they have freaking archers. This is just unfair. The dwarves are defending themselves, though, surprisingly well. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but they did kill a lot of the attacking force. There was a lot of elves running in here, and I just don't see that many left. Yeah, look at them, they're killing the elves. No way they defend themselves from that. What? There's only 14 dwarves left. Some of them are just standing here. What idiots, dude. Go help the war. Oh, balls. Yeah, they're screwed. What's going on elsewhere, though? Oh, and this mole ammo rebelled. Which is probably a good thing, then, because the elves are at war with this one. So the dwarves live on. The dwarves live on, guys. Um, orcs are looking massively thick. Which is good for any orc fan. I know they do exist. There goes the dwarvish city after the elves burned it down. The elves, though, just declared war with the orcs. Oh, I don't know why they would ever do that. <laughs> That's like poking a bear, dude, that you don't want to do that. They both have almost the same population, but elves already have more of an army, even after just slaughtering the dwarves. Look at them. Look at them all down here. What are they doing? Bro, don't mess with the elves. Apparently they're bloodthirsty. Jeez. Oh, whoa, I've made a mistake in my map. There's no hole right here. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> Here's our first orc and elvish conflict. They're all fighting right next to the humans. They're literally in the human territory fighting the orcs. <laughs> what? Could you imagine being a human right now? Especially one of these guys. They don't really have a military. I'd be so scared just seeing the power of the elves at the moment. Okay, the elves are getting up some new cities. Oh, all of them are. The humans did and the orcs as well. Poor dwarves. I mean, for any dwarvish fan out there, I'm sure you're happy that they're just still breathing. Like, <laughs> gosh, dude. Hopefully they can colonize their um, first, you know, starting area. Because there's still some houses that they can claim. I don't know why humans didn't put a colony in here. Now the elves have it. It's definitely going to work against them. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. The dwarves are doing that. And the humans are rebelling with three different... Oh my god, dude, what? Three different empires they're rebelling with. Oh, wow. Was it a peaceful rebellion, too? Yeah, they're not even at war. Bro, humans suck butt. Oh, no, dude. It's a slaughter. Fudge, let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Oh, dude, no. The dwarves. The children. Orcs don't care if you're a child. They'll slaughter you either way. Hopefully, Begal rebels real quick and just becomes another empire. Does the same strategy Mul Amal did to live this long. I doubt they will, though. Dang. They're doomed once they become the capital. They gotta do it now. Do it now. Oh, no, Begal. Bagel. Bagel. 
<laughs> not bagel. Oh, whoa, what destroyed this up here? Some, something went through and destroyed uh, some elves. Was it the humans? I doubt it. It must have been the orcs as they uh, continue the rampage on the dwarves. Insult to injury? The orcs are setting up a city where the dwarves were. Look at the child run, dude. Run away! Run! Oh, keep running! <laughs> there he goes. He's running the wrong direction, man. Go run and hide in some of the rubble. And then grow up and build the dwarves again. The city is on your shoulders, sir, Natora. N Nator. As he run past an orc. Oh, no. Oh, man. That was awful. <laughs> so, that was the end of the dwarves. They don't have another little colony anywhere. Rest in pieces, dude. Slaughtered by the orcs. The humans seem to be strong, but they're divided, which makes them weak. So, it's kind of lame. Like, both of these cities have over 200 population or so. At least close enough. If this place gets attacked, then this place won't help. If this place gets attacked, then this place won't help. And this place is just gonna get wrecked as soon as it goes to war. Oh, 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 the humans are declaring war on each other. Oh, that's a cool statue. Whoa. Oh, man, dude. The original Blue Kingdoms just got taken over by their colony. That's an oof, bro. Oh, snap. And the orcs just cleared out the, the black colony. They just got wiped off the face of the earth. So humans are united, however weaker now. All right, they're setting up Arto down here where the other kingdom lost it okay uh orcs are going to war against the humans balls let me slow it down fudge dude fudge all the humans in the middle square are just being obliterated the city's down to 40 population Voke Duran's gone basically as one in their original square i'm sure it's their only chance they're actually fighting back yeah they have a military look at this dang bro slaughtering the orcs um but yeah there's no hope for utana oh and the elves rebelled a little bit there's a rebellion elvish nation looks like the humans have defended their homeland at least can't say the same for the rest though dude look at this colony it's sad <laughs> what that's the saddest colony i've ever seen it's only got two population it's not even part of the bigger elvish empire and it's literally named sad <laughs> what? that's so sad oh it looks like humans are taking the offensive to the orcs dude whoa Watch them just get slaughtered though. <laughs> and when are the humans gone? Oh, here comes some more actually. More and more orcs are gonna show up though. Oh, that's a rip, dude. Then the orcs are gonna go on the offensive. And then there goes the humans' military. Oh, balls, dude. At least Yachistrubi has over 200 population. That will help. And something's going on over here. It looks like the orcs are also fighting the elves. Yeah, they totally are. They just killed an elvish man. And they're running up here to fight them. Hopefully the elves can send out a massive army and kind of help out the humans that way. Or maybe Sad can uh, really back up the humans. <laughs> Yolnor is getting wrecked right now. Okay, wait, there's an orcish king in here? Is that what I just saw? Dude, the... Uh, there's an orcish king in here. Where, <laughs> what? An orcish king is fighting with the soldiers. I want to see where he is. I don't see him. He might be dead now. No, dude, he's there. Maybe it's just the leader of a town. It's not a king. Yeah, that's just a leader. Never mind. Sorry. Still, though, a leader of a town is in here just whooping the humans. There's that statue again. I saw that in one of the videos. Oh, oh, they're rebelling. Uh, they just super escaped annihilation. <laughs> so here's the orc, the leader I'm talking about. He's a freaking king slayer, dude. He's a veteran. He has 60 kills. He has killed 60 people. His favorite food is meat and he has no shortage of it, that's for sure. His skill in warfare is 20. That's insane. Everything else though is garbage. <laughs> he doesn't have any diplomacy. He, all he does is war. He's probably gonna die here though. He's just kind of going through it now, single-handedly killing everybody. It looks like the orcs have completely pushed out the elves from this sector. I don't even see it happen. Here comes the elves with a bit of a uh, offensive, trying to push back the orcs. It's kind of too late though, I would say. The purple human colony down to 13 population after its former what 200 strong people and the humans are also trying to colonize again look at that there's a huge war right now going on in the middle square between the orcs and the elves jeez dude look at this it's just chaos imagine being one of these soldiers fighting for your life dude oh a pinks a piece that's so hard to say try and say that out, al out loud dude Epinska? Epinska? It's so hard to say. In fact, let me just rename it. Hard to say. There we go. That, that's the new name of that town. Oh, dude, Sad. Sad just, what, made peace with the other elves. For the first time in forever, Sad has 37 population. They're doing so good, dude. Oh, and they're even colonizing. Sad's spreading their sadness. What's Sad's culture? Apa? No. Sad. Sadness. I like how hard to say has kept some of their farm field. So they just kind of run in, even though it's landlocked by, uh, what? That's hard to say, too. Hard to say, too. Alright, I'll use the right two as well. Oh, they're kind of stealing the border. What? <laughs> what? Oh, look at them. The blue... Hard to say, too, just went in and killed the king. Oh, okay, they just... they Hard to say, too, just took hard to say. 
Okay, so the humans are united once again. <laughs> Gosh, that was hard to say. And not the city, I'm just saying that it's, it was hard to say. Like, not the, not the town though, it was just hard to say. Again, not the city. Okay, this map is just chaos right now. Oh, oh no, sad! Oh, the humans are destroying it. What? That's so sad, dude. Why? The humans just went down and Rick sat, just wrecked sad, dude. What? <laughs> what? Why, though? The humans are just picking on the only people that are smaller than them. Because if they pick on anybody bigger, they're screwed. Look at this, dude. They're just getting rid of them. No. That's so sad. Aaron, no. There goes the legacy of the sad kingdom. We must all remember this. This is historical. And hard to say is rebellion again. Nice, dude. That's epic. <laughs> oh, the first orcish rebellion. Oh, it's going to be quickly squashed, though. I'm going to go ahead and go to the world laws and turn off diplomacy. And then just give them all spite. Spite! You shall kill each other! So immediately, apparently, the orcs are just sending up a huge army up to the humans. Rest in peace is the humans, dude. Hard to say, too, is getting wrecked. Look at the population drop. Jeez, dude. Oh, it shot up for a second. But it's going back down. They must have pooped out some babies right before they're all dead. I mean, if you were gonna die, what would you rather do? Sit there and accept it or make a baby? I really want you guys to think about that. Comment down below what your answer would be. <laughs> Sit there and die or make a baby. Okay, um, so looking at the rest of the world though, they just seem to really not care about attacking the elves. I mean, they are, but it's just like, wow, did they send an army to the humans, but they just kind of neglected the elves. And then of course the elves haven't sent their army anywhere, even though they're at war. They just let the humans get obliterated. And now it's their turn. Orcs don't seem to have any archers, or at least way less of them. And that's gonna give the elves a decent advantage. Oh, but they're killing, uh, Ock Erg over here. Oh, heck yeah, dude. They're pushing orcs out of the center square. Okay, elves are doing better than I thought they would. Oh, here we go. The orcs are infiltrating. Oh, being pushed back out though. Okay, so the orcs just put up one, two, three, four. Oh, they lost one immediately. Oh, they put up another one. So they put up five then in total of uh, new colonies, but only four are alive. As the orcs continue to push down the elves, the orcs are able to reproduce and send in more military as the elves are just struggling to keep the numbers that they have. Alon's down to three population, Sosny's down to 36, and most of its children, look at them all running around. Jeez, dude, this is a battlefield if I've never seen one. Oh, this is the end of Sosny. Rest in pieces, there it goes. Dang, dude, and the orcs take the win. As always, what a surprise. <laughs> GG, orcs, you get death. In the making of this video, almost 15,000 people have died.